For this crochet project, you're going to need your 4 millimeter crochet hook as well as a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. You can use whatever yarn colors that you want and for mine, I'm using 100% cotton because I'm going to be placing hot items on it. And if you use 100% acrylic, um, it may melt just a little bit and give you a sheen. So if you don't want that to happen, you can just use 100% cotton. I love, I, love this, um, I love this cotton yarn. That's the name of it. And I usually get mine from Hobby Lobby. And then this one is Lily 100% cotton. It's a really pretty hot pink color. So just grab whatever colors that you want for your little dress that you're making. Now if you like the scrubby yarn that I used at the top of my dress, these are like a gentle scrubby. If you're using it for a tawashi to help with dishes and you want something a little bit hard, uh, more abrasive to use for cleaning, it's not too abrasive to where it damages your pots, but it gives you a little bit extra abrasive for cleaning. And if you like the look, it's more for intermediate crocheters because you can see that it's very difficult to see the holes. So I would recommend practicing with the yarn that I show you on video tutorial first. But then you can attempt this yarn. And if you like this yarn, it's by Yarn B and it's called Scrubology. It's a white color. Now the thing about this yarn is it's 100% polyester, so you don't want to be setting things too hot on it. It shouldn't do anything. I haven't had any problems, but um, you just want to be cautious of setting too hot of items on that portion. You can always just use the lower portion, 100% cotton portion. And you'll have plenty of this yarn left for making a lot of these dresses. And this is how your dress should look when you're finished. All gorgeous. So you learned how to make the square opening for the top as well as the flare where it gets wider and wider for the dress portion. So this is the front and then here is the back. So now you're going to take whatever yarn that you want to start for the top or the neck of the dress. So I'm using my white sparkle colored yarn and I'm going to fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down and then cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Then you're going to make a chain of 33. I'm just going to show you four of them on video tutorial. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one chain, two, three, four. So go ahead, finish a chain of 33, and then come back. So now you should have a chain of 33, and then you're going to take, and this Chain of 33 is called also called your starting chain. So now we're going to make the first row, and the first row is going to become your first round. We're going to be slip stitching it into the first round. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to count back four chains from the hook. One, two, three, four. And in the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to make one double crochet. So you just yarn over. Go into that fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, two loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through those two remaining loops. And now you can see that those skip stitches become your first double crochet on this row, and then we have our second double crochet. Now you need to make one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So there's one, so just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, make a double crochet. There's two. 
three, four. And then this is how your work should look so far. So now we're going to make our first corner into that same stitch. You're going to make four more double crochet. So you yarn over, go into the same stitch, and then you're going to make four more double crochet so that you have a total of five double crochet in the same stitch. So that's only four. I need one more for a total of five double crochet in the same stitch. And then that counts as my first corner. Now you're going to make one double crochet into the next six stitches. So you just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, make your double crochet, and then you're making one double crochet into a total of six stitches. So there's a second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So now we're going to make our second corner. This was our first corner, and now we're making our second corner. So in the next stitch, you're going to make five double crochet into the same stitch. So go into the next stitch, make your double crochet, and then you're going to make a total of five double crochet into the same stitch. And then you can see how it's forming a square. So we're going to have a square opening. So this shows you how to make a square opening where my other dresses, my other potholder dresses had the circle opening. So this is a neat different technique that you can use for the neck openings. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So go into the next stitch and make one double crochet. And then you're going to make one double crochet into the next eight. It's a total of eight stitches from that second corner and then come back. So now we're going to make our third corner. So you're going to make five double crochet into the next stitch for our third corner. So now you can see how it's becoming more like a square. I have my third corner made. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next six stitches. So one double crochet into each of the next six stitches for a total of six stitches. And then come back. Then you should have only three stitches left and you're going to make your fourth corner into the next stitch. So you're going to make five double crochet into the same stitch for the next stitch. So then you have your fourth corner complete and then you have two stitches remaining. You're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the last stitch. Then you're going to take and bring up the opposite stitch which, is, which were the skipped stitches that we started with and you want the top stitch of those skipped stitches make sure that your work is not flipped 
that it's laying in a square and then you just take your crochet hook and you go into that opposite stitch, the top stitch of the opposite side to form a square. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook to complete a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And then just leave a large loop where you left off because we're going to finish joining the bottom portion of the square, but you can see how it made a nice square opening and you have one, two, three, four corners. So now for beginners, I would recommend counting your stitches. So you want to make sure, I usually start with the first where I chained three over the previous round. That counts as your first stitch. And then here is a stitch I'm showing with my tapestry needle. You have the front loop of the stitch and the back loop of the stitch. So that counts as the second stitch, third stitch, fourth stitch. And you should have a total of 48 stitches in the round. And for beginners, that's very important. Sorry, I was losing my voice. It's very important for this dress that you keep your stitch count so that you can follow along and your dress will come out correctly. So you're going to have 48 total stitches after this first round. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle and put it onto the loose yarn end at the bottom because we're going to join the bottom of the round. So you take your tapestry needle and on the opposite side, the bottom stitch of that what we consider our first double crochet, the bottom stitch, and you're going to join the bottom portion of the first round. And then I usually just go and pull the two rounds together so there's not a gap, and then I tie my knot. So you can back into the loop to create a knot, and then I usually do that two times. And then don't worry about burying the loose yarn end at this time. We can bury the loose yarn end after we're finished making the dress. So I just go through a couple of times and then that joins into around the, um, the neck of the dress into a finished first round square. Now we're ready for the second round. Now, for this round, you're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to make one double crochet in every stitch until you reach the first corner. Actually, the third stitch of the first corner. Remember, we made five double crochet into the corner stitch, and it's the third stitch of the corner where we're going to make our new corner for the second round. So you can see how I'm making one double crochet in every stitch. And now I've reached the first corner and I'm going into one double crochet in each stitch of the corner except for the third double crochet. So now I've reached the third double crochet in the corner and in that stitch is where you're going to make the new corner for the second round. So you need five double crochet into the same stitch. And then that will make your first corner for the second round. Then you're just going to resume making one double crochet in every stitch until you reach the second corner or the next corner. And you're going to repeat each corner the same way all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. So now I'm back to where I started and you can see how I have the four corners. It looks good. 
and you should have a total of 64 stitches after finishing this round and then you're just going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made so you go right into that top stitch and then you just yarn over turn the hook upside down and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch now at this point you can change colors wherever you want in your unique little dress that you're making if you're following along this is where I'm going to change colors to my hot pink colored yarn so this third round is going to be our first shell round and I'm going to make my first shell round with the hot pink colored yarn so right now I have one loop around my crochet hook I'm going to go ahead and bring up a loop with my hot pink colored yarn then I'm going to lay my work down and then tie a knot with the previous colored yarn and the loose yarn end on my new color then you can take and cut the previous colored yarn and I always leave enough of a loose yarn in for burying into my work and then you're ready to crochet with your hot pink colored yarn so the first thing I'm going to do is chain two one two and we're going to get ready to start the third round so now you're going to make a half double crochet into the same stitch so you just yarn over go into the same stitch bring up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through all three and that's a half double crochet so this first chain two counts as your first half double crochet and then we just made another half double crochet into the same stitch now you're going to chain one yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a chain of one and then you're going to make two more half double crochet into the same stitch so you just yarn over go into the same stitch and I'm not burying my loose yarn ends as I crochet I'm going to come back and bury them later so now I'm going to bring up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet and then we'll make one more half double crochet into the same stitch and that completes our first shell for the round now you're going to skip so I made all of those stitches for the shell and I used the double crochet posts from the previous round to help show me where I'm at so I made the shell into that post or that double crochet so I'm going to skip the next stitch and then I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the previous rounds double crochet stitch so you're going to take your crochet hook you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next stitch and then you're going to go behind so between the skipped stitch and the post that you want to go around you're going to go right between in that space between so right next to the skipped stitch go behind the next stitch and you see how I have the post the post is in front of my crochet hook so that's why it's called the front post double crochet so then I'm going to take and bring up a loop so I yarn over and then go back behind the post and then bring up a loop now I have three loops on the hook yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through two and then yarn over and go through the two remaining loops on the hook and you just finished a front post double crochet so you can see how I have a shell here I skipped a stitch and then made a front post double crochet around the next stitch so now you're going to skip the next stitch so you're skipping this next stitch and I always look at the post to help me and then you're going to make 
a shell into the next stitch. So I'm just going to double check here. Now I want to make a skip this stitch and I want to make a shell into the next stitch. So I yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then I'm going to make one more half double crochet into the same stitch. Then I'm going to chain one and then make two more half double crochet into the same stitch to complete a shell. So now I know that I made my shell in this double crochet. I'm going to skip the next stitch and make a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So I just yarn over and then I go between the skipped stitch and the post that I want to of the next stitch. You can see how I go behind it with my crochet hook. There's the back of the crochet hook and I want the post in front of the crochet hook because I'm making a front post double crochet. So now I'm going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn bring a loop up and then I'm going to complete a double crochet and then you're just going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around back to the beginning so I'm going to show you a couple more so now I'm going to skip the next stitch and then make a shell into the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then I'm going to make another half double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one and then two more half double crochet into the same stitch. And then I completed my shell. So now I completed my shell in this stitch. I'm going to skip the next stitch and then make a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go between the skipped stitch and the post that I want in the next stitch, bring up a loop, and then complete a front post double crochet. So I'm going to make one more set with you. So now I'm going to skip the next stitch and then make my shell into the next stitch so I made my shell now I'm going to skip the next stitch go behind the post of the next stitch for a front post double crochet and then repeat. And this is how your work will look. It's really gorgeous stitch pattern around the entire square for the third round. So now I have three stitches remaining and I finished my shell. I'm going to skip a stitch and then make a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then I'm going to skip the last stitch and then make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain two that you made. So you just go through that top stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook to slip stitch and join the round. So before you continue on to the fourth round, you want to make sure that you have a total 
of 16 shells in the round and then a total of 16 front post double crochet in the round and that way you know you made the third round correctly and then we're ready to move on to the fourth round which will be the armhole round. So now you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch so you just go right into the next stitch and then yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain one space of the previous rounds shell so take your crochet hook go right into that chain one space yarn over and then bring the yarn through all the way for a slip stitch and now you're in the chain one space which is where you want to be so you're going to chain two and then that counts as your first half double crochet and then you're going to complete a shell in the chain one space so you're going to yarn over go into the same chain one space bring up a loop make your half double crochet chain one and then two half double crochet into the same chain one space to complete your shell so I finished the first shell in the chain one space now you're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous rounds front post double crochet so you just yarn over and then go behind the previous rounds front post double crochet bring up a loop and then complete a double crochet and then we're going to repeat this one more time so you're going to yarn over go into the chain one space of the previous rounds shell bring up a loop complete a half double crochet and then you're going to make one more half double crochet in the same stitch same chain one space chain one and then two more half double crochets in the same chain one space and then you're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous rounds front post double crochet and now we're ready to make our first armhole so what you're going to do this is the right side of your work this is the wrong side of your work so we're going to have the right side facing us and then you're going to skip the next four shells and as you skip those shells you're going to fold the work so that the right side is facing you. So here's your first shell. So one, two, three, four. Now you're going to make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round after the fourth skipped shell. So now you're going to fold your work so that the front, the right side is facing you and then you remember where you're going to be making your front post double crochet it's the front post from the previous round after the fourth skipped shell so you can see how I have it folded so that the right side is facing me and you can see how I'm holding my work then you're going to yarn over and then you're going to go around the previous rounds front post double crochet and make a front post double crochet and then you just made your first armhole so you can see here's the armhole and then your two front post double crochets form an upside down V for the armhole opening here's the opening for the neck and I have the right side facing me so on the inside is the wrong side 
which is what you want. So then, after you join the first armhole, then you're going to go into the next chain one space and complete a shell. So you just go yarn over, go into the chain one space, make a half double crochet, and then you're just going to make your shell in that chain one space. And then you're going to make your front post double crochet in the previous round's front post double crochet. And you're going to repeat this for a total of four times across the back. So here you can see we've already completed two across the front and then we'll complete the last two once we make our second armhole. But now we're working across the back of the dress and so you need a total of four shells before you get to your next armhole. So go ahead, finish completing four sets of your shell and front post double crochet until you reach your second armhole and then come back. So now you should have the four total shells and four front post double crochet across the back of the dress. Actually, this is the front of the dress, and where you have your loose yarn end is going to be the back of the dress. So now you're ready for the second armhole. So again, you're going to skip four shells, one, two, three, four, and you know that you need to make your front post double crochet into the front post double crochet of the skipped, after the skipped fourth shell. So I'm just going to yarn over, go into that front post double crochet, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So now I have the upside down V for the second armhole. So now you have both armholes, and before I was calling this the back, but this is actually the front because it's the pretty portion where you don't have any of the loose yarn ends or anything like that, but it's still pretty in the back. But now we're going to finish the last two shells and the last two front post double crochet before we join this last round. So you just make a half double crochet into the first chain one space of the previous round's shell. And then you're just going to make your front post double crochet around the previous round's front post double crochet. And then you're just going to repeat that one more time and then come back. So now I'm ready to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain two that we made in the round. And then this is where before I change colors, this is the round where I'm going to change colors. So it's up to you, it's optional where you want to change colors for your dress. But this is where I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to slip stitch into the chain one space. And even if you aren't changing colors, you're still going to slip stitch into the chain one space of the previous round's shell. And that's where you're going to start this next round, the fifth round. So now I'm in the chain one space and before I start the fifth round, I want to change colors. So for mine, I'm changing to my light pink, sparkle pink colored yarn. I'm going to bring up a loop with my new colored yarn and then I'm just going to tie a knot with the previous colored yarn and then I'm going to cut the previous colored yarn. So now I have my new color and I'm going to start with a chain of three. One, two, three. 
And I'm going to bury my loose yarn ends as I crochet. So now you're going to make one double crochet into every stitch until you reach the front post double crochet and then you're going to make a front post double crochet. So this first chain three that we made counts as the first double crochet in the round and it's in the chain one space of the shell from the previous round. So you remember in a shell you have two half double crochets in the shell before you reach your fast your uh, front post double crochet. So you need one double crochet into each of those stitches before the front post double crochet. So I'm just going to yarn over. I'm going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to go behind my loose yarn ends and then bring up a loop and then complete a double crochet. And you can give a gentle tug on the yarn, the loose yarn ends. And then I need one more double crochet into the next stitch before the front post double crochet. And then now I'm just going to leave the loose yarn ends to bury later. And then I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the previous round's front post double crochet. So I'm just going to yarn over, go around the front post double crochet, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Then I'm going to reach my next shell. So I should have one double crochet into every stitch of the shell. So that means that I have two half double crochets from the previous round that need a double crochet in each of those, a double crochet into the chain one space, and then one double crochet in the two remaining half double crochet stitches. So you should have a total of five double crochet before you reach the front post double crochet in the armhole. So you're going to make one double crochet into each of those stitches. So here's one, here's two, here's one double crochet into the chain one space which makes three, and then one double crochet into the next two space stitches which will make five double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch of the shell. And then that will bring me to the armhole. So you're going to make one front post double crochet around both of those front post double crochet stitches in the armhole. So you just yarn over, go behind the front post double crochet, both front post double crochet of the armhole, just like this. And then you're going to bring up a loop and then complete a double crochet. And then you just joined the armhole with one front post double crochet. Then along the front of the dress, so here's where we did the front post double crochet on the armhole. And then along the front of the dress you have those four shells and you also have the four front post double crochet. So now I'm going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. So that's one. One double crochet into the next stitch is two. One double crochet in the chain one space is three. And then one double crochet into each of the next remaining stitches of the shell. And then that gives me a total of five double crochet in the shell. Then I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the previous rounds, front post double crochet. And then I'm going to repeat this all the way across to the next armhole and then come back. So this is how my work looks across the front of the dress. And I just finished my five double crochet in the shell, the last shell before the armhole. So now I'm going to make a front post double crochet around both front post double crochet of the second armhole. I'm going to bring up a loop and then make my double crochet. 
and then I have a front post double crochet, one front post double crochet in the second armhole. Then I'm going to make one double crochet into each of the five stitches of the next shell. And then front post double crochet. And then you're going to repeat that one more time to finish the round. And then you'll have a couple remaining double crochets there, but I'll work those with you. So now I've finished my last front post double crochet. And when we started the round, we started in the chain one space of the previous round's shell. So that means we only have three double crochet, so we need one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you can take and make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made. So you go right into that top stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you want to make sure that you have a total of 48 stitches in the round. Then for the next round you just make a chain of one. That chain one counts as your first stitch for the next round and then you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around. So one single crochet into every stitch around and when you get back to where you started and then what I would recommend is making so you can see it. See I'm already having trouble seeing it so you're going to want to use a um, stitch marker or a yarn marker. So here is where I'm going to slip stitch to join the round and then I'm going to chain one and then to make it easier to see where you started I'm just going to place a yarn marker right after that first chain one and then make a single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into every stitch around and that means after you finish this round which is the sixth round you should still have a stitch count of 48. So I just finished my 48th stitch and then this is the tricky part so you want to make sure that you don't add 49 stitches so you want to count and make sure you still have 48 because the chain one that we made here is the chain one that we made in the round is directly above this double crochet. So we're going to make a slip stitch into that chain one to join the round and that will still give us a stitch count of 48. So make sure that you still have a stitch count of 48 when you finish this round. So just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch and you can see how you're directly over that chain one stitch. So now we're going to move up to the seventh round. So for the seventh round you're going to chain three. So yarn over and go through the loop for one, two, three. So now we have a chain three and you can see that it's directly over that stitch. So we're going to be making a double crochet into the next stitch. So now you're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. and then a double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches and 
Then you're going to skip a stitch and then make one double crochet into the next two stitches. So skip a stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. Then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then repeat. So here's the set. You're going to make one double crochet into two stitches, three double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches, and then you're going to skip a stitch and repeat. So I'm going to make one more set with you. So I'm going to skip a stitch, make one double crochet into the next two stitches, then I'm going to make three double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches, and then you're going to skip a stitch and repeat. So now I'm back to where I started and I just want to show you because this can be a little bit tricky. So I actually have, here's the post from one of the previous rounds. You can see that there's a stitch there. And then the chain three, the initial chain three, looks like it's coming from that stitch, but it's actually coming from this stitch right here. So you're going to skip this next stitch and then you're just going to join into the top stitch of the first chain three that you made. And then we're ready to begin the next round. So for the next round, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then to help you keep track of the rounds, this round right here is the single crochet round. So that's round six. We just finished round seven and now we're on round eight. But before we continue with round eight, I want you to count your sets to make sure that you, you have the same number of sets as I do from the seventh round. So here's one set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should have eight sets just like me before moving on to the eighth round. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And that should bring you to the middle stitch of the three double crochet stitches from the previous round. So in that middle stitch of the three double crochet from the previous round, you're going to make three double crochet into the same stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then you're going to double crochet two stitches together. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you slower for the double crochet two together in case you don't know how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two loops only. You have two loops remaining on the hook. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Now you have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two loops. You have three loops remaining. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the three remaining loops. 
to complete a double crochet two st stitches together. So you know that you are working this round correctly if you have your three double crochet into the center stitch of the three double crochet from the previous round and your double crochet two stitches together is over the previous rounds skipped stitch. Then you're just going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches and then you'll see that that brings you to the middle stitch of the previous rounds three double crochet. And you're going to make three double crochet into that next stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to double crochet two stitches together. So just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and go through three to complete a double crochet two stitches together. And you just keep repeating that pattern all the way around, back to where you started, and then come back. Then when you get back to the beginning, you should have one stitch remaining. Go ahead and make one double crochet into that remaining stitch. And then you're just going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made. And then you completed the eighth round. And you should have completed the eighth round with 66 total stitches for the round. And now we're going to move up to the ninth round. So you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then that counts as your first double crochet for the ninth round. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches. And then that should bring you to the middle stitch of the previous rounds, three double crochet. And then you're going to make three double crochet into that next stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then you can see how that brings you to the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round. You're going to skip that stitch and then make a double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches, which will bring you to the middle stitch from the previous round. So that's one. Here's two and three. So I skipped a stitch and then one double crochet into three stitches and then that brings me to the middle stitch of the previous rounds. Three double crochet. So I make three double crochet into that stitch. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. and then you'll skip the next stitch which should be the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round and you're going to repeat this set the skip stitch one double crochet and three three double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet and three and then skip a stitch and repeat all the way around back to the beginning then you can skip the last stitch and then make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made and then you're ready 
for the next round. You should still only have eight sets in the round. And now we're going to move up to the tenth round. So you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And again, that counts as your first double crochet in the next round. And you're going to make one double crochet into every stitch until you reach the middle stitch from the previous rounds three double crochet. So one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the middle stitch from the previous round. So I had, counting the chain three, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then you'll see how that brings you to the, the skipped stitch from the previous round. So now you're going to make a double crochet two stitches together. And that's how you can double check your work. Your three double crochet should always be in the middle stitch of the previous round's three double crochet and then your double crochet two stitches together should be over the previous round's skip stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches so this is going to be the set that you're going to repeat all the way around so I made one double crochet into the next three stitches. Then that'll bring me to the middle stitch from the previous rounds, three double crochet. I'm going to make three double crochet into the same stitch. And then I'm going to make one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then that will bring me to the skip stitch from the previous round. So I'm going to double crochet two stitches together. And then repeat. So go ahead, continue to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. One double crochet into three stitches, three double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into three stitches, and then double crochet two stitches together and then repeat. Now on the last set that you're making for the round you'll finish your three double crochet in one stitch and then one double crochet into three stitches and then you only have one remaining stitch so you're not going to make your double crochet two stitches together you're just going to make one double crochet into that remaining stitch and then you're going to slip stitch with the top stitch of that first chain three that you made to finish the round. So now you should have a total of 83 stitches in the round. And then we're going to move up to round 11. So you're going to chain three. One, two, Three, and then that counts as your first double crochet for this next round and then you want one double crochet into the next one two three four five six stitches and then that brings you to the middle stitch from the previous rounds three double crochet so one double crochet into each of the next six stitches
Then you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch and again a good way to double check if you're making your stitches correctly is if your three double crochet falls into the middle stitch of the previous rounds three double crochet which mine does. Then you make one double crochet into the next four stitches and then that brings you to the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round if you're doing it correctly. So then you're going to skip that stitch make one double crochet into the next four stitches and then that should bring you to the middle stitch of the three double crochet from the previous round make three double crochet into the next stitch then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches and then that will bring you to the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round so you're going to skip that stitch and repeat so that's the set you're going to skip a stitch make one double crochet into four stitches three double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next four stitches and then skip a stitch and repeat all the way around back to the beginning then when you finish your last set you'll have only one stitch remaining you're going to skip that stitch and then make a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first chain three that you made then you're going to chain three to move up to the twelfth round and you should still only have eight sets in the round so now for the twelfth round we're starting with the chain of three and then you're going to make one double crochet into the next seven stitches and that should bring you to the middle stitch of the previous rows three double crochet Here's my sixth and my seventh. And then that brings me to the middle stitch of the previous rows, three double crochet. I'm going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches. and then that should bring you right above the previous rounds skipped stitch so you know that you're doing it correctly and most of you have probably figured out the pattern by now then you're going to make a double crochet two stitches together then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches and this is the pattern that you're going to repeat so one double crochet into four stitches and then that will bring you to the middle stitch of the previous rounds three double crochet you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches and then that will bring me to the skipped stitch from the previous round so now I'm going to double crochet two stitches together and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning so you're going to make one double crochet into four stitches three double crochet into the next stitch 
one double crochet into four stitches and then double crochet two stitches together and then repeat all the way around back to the beginning. So now I'm back to where I started and in my last set after my three double crochet into one stitch and then one double crochet into four stitches I only have one stitch remaining so instead of a double crochet two stitches together I'm just going to make one double crochet into that last remaining stitch. And then you're going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made to slip stitch and join the round. And now you should have a total of a hundred stitches in the round. Then we're going to, at this point, it's optional if you want to change colors. We have two more rounds left. Sometimes I like to change colors at this round for a strip of the same color alternate color that I used it towards the top of the dress. So I'm going to change back to my hot pink <laughs> colored yarn. Sorry about that. So now you're just going to take and bring up, if you're going to change colors, you just bring up your whatever color you want for the strip towards the bottom of the dress. Take your previous colored yarn. Go into view. Tie a knot with your loose yarn end. and then cut the previous colored yarn. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn end for burying into your work. Then you're just going to chain three and I'm going to bury these loose yarn ends as I crochet. But I'm going to chain three for the new round and this is round 13. And then you're going to make a one double crochet into the next stitch and every stitch until you reach the middle stitch of the three double crochet from the previous round. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stitches. So go ahead and make one double crochet into the next eight stitches, which should bring you right to the middle stitch of the previous rounds three double crochet. And you can see how I'm going around my loose yarn ends and then I'm just burying them as I crochet my stitches and I'm going to pull gently on those loose yarn ends. So you can see that it makes a really pretty alternate color. Then you just make one double crochet into the I mean three double crochet into the next stitch which is the middle stitch of the previous rounds three double crochet then you're just going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches there's one two three four and five. And then that should bring you to the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round. So you're going to skip that stitch. And then this is where we're going to start repeating. So now you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. There's four and five. And then that should bring you right to the third middle stitch from the previous round. So just make three double crochet into that stitch. And then make one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then that should bring you to the double crochet two stitches together from the previous round. You skip that stitch and repeat. So go ahead, finish repeating that pattern all the way around. One double crochet into five stitches, three double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into five stitches, skip a stitch and repeat. Then when you get back to the beginning, you can see this beautiful, how it's widening 
and then you get a flare towards the bottom of the dress. So it's a good way that if you want to have the flare at the bottom of the dress, how you can widen with the ripple and get a very beautiful design. So now you're going to skip that last stitch and then make a slip stitch into that top stitch of the first chain three that you made. And then this is where I change back for the last round. I just bring in my alternate color. So I'm going to bring up a loop just like I've done before. And then tie a knot. And then cut the previous colored yarn. Make sure I've got a good knot there. And then you're ready to start our last round, round 14. So now I'm going to chain three to start the 14th round. And I'm going to bury my loose yarn ends as I crochet. Now I'm going to make one double crochet into the next nine stitches. And then that should bring me, I'm going to go behind my loose yarn ends and bury them as I crochet. But that should bring me to the middle stitch of the previous round's three double crochet. So one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. Then you're going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. and then one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then that should bring you right to the skipped stitch from the previous round. So you're going to double crochet two stitches together. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches, and then this is the pattern that you're going to repeat. Uh, I can see that there's, I hate that when this happens with the yarn. So when this happens, I'm going to show you what I do. So I just take and snip right before and right after the flaw in the yarn. And then I just take, and I already have enough of a loose yarn end but you're going to have to undo stitches if you don't. Then I just tie a knot. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn in, like I said. And then just tie it right up to where I left off. And then I'm going to bury my loose yarn ends as I crochet. Actually, the knot's a little bit higher up, so I'm just going to bury my loose yarn ends later. So now, this is the pattern that you're going to repeat. So, so far, I have my double crochet two stitches together. So now I'm going to make one double crochet in five stitches. And then I'm going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. And then five, one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then that should bring you right to the skip stitch from the previous round. You want to double crochet two stitches together. And then repeat. So you're going to repeat one double crochet into five stitches. 
three double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into five stitches, and then double crochet two stitches together. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to where we started. Then when you reach the beginning in that last set after you make your three double crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet into five stitches you should have one stitch remaining. Instead of the double crochet two stitches together you're just going to make one double crochet into the remaining stitch. Then you can make a slip stitch into the top stitch of that first chain three that you made. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now we're just going to bury all of our loose yarn ends. But first I just want to show you the gorgeous flare design so you can see how you have a flare at the bottom where it widens on the bottom. So now you want to take and turn the dress inside out so that the wrong side is facing you. And then you can take and bury your loose yarn ends. So you just take your tapestry needle and then put the loose yarn end onto the tapestry needle and then you just kind of weave it through the work. And then I just usually go through, just weave it through, make sure it's nice and buried. And then once it's buried, you can go ahead and trim it. So go ahead, bury all of your loose yarn ends. Now if you want the little bow tie for the dress, just take whatever color yarn that you want. And then you're going to fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. Take your crochet hook, go right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for your slip knot. Go ahead and cinch that knot down, and then cinch the loop around your crochet hook. Then you're going to make a chain of 75. I'm just going to show you four of them on video tutorial. One, two, three, four. So go ahead, finish a chain of 75, and then come back. Then, after you finish your chain of 75, you want to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to sew the tie on your dress. So then I just cinch that knot in place. And then I cinch it down on the opposite end as well. Now it's ready to put onto the dress. Make sure that you have the bow on the right side of the dress before you sew it in place. So now we want the bow to be right here. So you take your loop, one of the ends of your tie, and then you're going to weave it through the front loop, front post double crochets on the dress. So you kind of just tuck it under and then pull it through. Make sure you stay on the same round. And then you just bring it all the way around the dress. And then I go under the front post double crochet for the armhole. Then when you get back to the beginning, just tie a bow and then take your tapestry needle and put it on the long end that you left for sewing. And then just go in and out and sew it to the front portion of the dress only. So you just go in and out and then just sew. Looks like I got part of the pink yarn. Just sew down your bow in the position that you want it on your dress. And again, you only want to sew it to the front portion of the dress. When you're finished sewing it on, just take the lo loose yarn ends both of them on the wrong side of the dress and just tie multiple knots. So I just did like seven or eight knots and then just trim it. And then this is what my tie looks like on the front.
Thank you.